Oh, I think I see something. Hmm, what is it? It's Stitch. He's a Tsum Tsum. I love these little Tsum Tsums. They're just so cute. Now let's open this yellow one. I wonder what color's inside. Orange. I think I see something. Oh, it's Minnie Mouse. This one's a tiny Tsum Tsum. Time for a purple one. And inside we have a pink egg. Let's start digging. See something blue. It's Cinderella. Good thing we saved her. She might be late for the ball. Now for our blue one. Oh, a purple egg. Donald Duck was inside. Oh, his outfit is so cute. Let's do the orange one. Inside, we have a blue egg. I wonder who's in our blue egg. Yes! We got Olaf! Olaf is one of my favorite Disney characters. Let me know in the comments which one's yours. Here's our last little egg. It's green. Oh, with a green egg inside. With some specks of purple. I'm seeing something blue. It's Perry the Platypus. I bet Phineas and Ferb are really worried about him. And here's our last egg. A giant pink one. And inside, we have a pink egg.
Oh, I recognize this one. It's Daisy Duck. We found Donald earlier. Now we can reunite them. Here's everything we found today. Give this video a thumbs up if you think these Tsum Tsums are super cute. These eggs were so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're having a face-off! We're gonna be checking out the Kinetic Sand Ice Cream Treats versus the Crazy Sand Sweet Treats. I know that both sets are pretty similar to each other, but let's take a closer look to see if we can find any differences. If you take a look at the back of the Kinetic Sand box, you can see that they have a checklist of all the great things the sand can do. The back of the Crazy Sand box keeps it a little more simple and uses images to show how to play with the sand. We'll start off by showing the Kinetic Sand accessories. Here's a blue ice cream cone and a pink sundae cup. We get an ice cream mold and a scooper, a yellow spoon and a pink straw. And the coolest thing about this set is that the box actually acts as a tray slash play set, so it's a lot easier to clean up and you actually have a play mat to work with. Dump your Kinetic Sand in here and you won't have a messy table. Now let's take a look at the Crazy Sand accessories. We get an ice cream cone and a cupcake mold, and what's really cool is you can make a stamp with each item. Here's a 2-in-1 tool, it acts as a scooper and a knife. And we get two donut molds. Unfortunately, for the Crazy Sand set, it doesn't come with the tray, so your play area could get a little messy if you're not careful. But for this video, we'll use the other half of the Kinetic Sand box as a tray. If you do have Crazy Sand, I would suggest you use something similar to this so that it's easier to clean up afterwards. Let's first take a look at the crazy sand. A great thing about this set is that you get three colors to work with. Blue, purple, and red. As for the kinetic sand, you only get one bag to work with, which is the pink color. Now let's compare each one side by side. I would say the texture and movement of each sand is pretty similar. So when it comes to the properties of the sand, I'd say it's a tie so far. Here's one thing I'll say that could be a deal breaker. The crazy sand, I don't know how to say it, but it has a pretty strange smell. So for those who are sensitive to smell, playing with crazy sand could get a little irritating for you. Time to test out the molds and the molding abilities of each sand. We'll start with the Kinetic Sand. Here's where I'm gonna need your guys' help. I want you guys to tell me which one looks better. So here's how a Kinetic Sand ice cream cone looks like. And here's a Crazy Sand Ice Cream Cone. Which one did you guys like better? Let me show you another Kinetic Sand Mold. Here's a pink ice cream sundae. Let's check out another crazy sand mold. Here's a pink cupcake. 
I think I like the Sunday better. What about you guys? Let's first go over cleaning for the kinetic sand. Since there is only one color and it's all in the tray, can't forget the little spoon. You know, it actually melts like ice cream would. That's pretty cool. The ice cream's alive! It's moving! Let's see what happens when I try dissolving this ice cream swirl. I've never tasted ice cream that moved before. Let's have some more fun and make more ice cream. Here's another interesting thing about kinetic sand. Your hands always stay clean. I made a Sunday swirl. Yummy! For this, we'll need a straw. I could really go for one of these right now. As you can see, the kinetic sand is really easy to shape too, so it's not really difficult to play with. And the best thing about this set is that it's really easy to clean up, so there won't be a big mess. Here's a double scoop for you guys! Well this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And we're bringing you Kinetic Sand Paw Patrol Adventure Bay Beach! You guys ready to have some fun with these pups at the beach today? Well, let's go! We're gonna be able to mold, create, play, and whoa! Mix colors! I don't think I ever did that with Kinetic Sand before! Let's open up this box... And... Let's see what we have! Here's the yellow Kinetic Sand! Nice! We get some red kinetic sand and some blue kinetic sand. Here are the molds and our good friend Ryder. Let's take Ryder out first. Everyone, say hi to the leader of the Paw Patrols. Here is Rubble, the construction pup. We have Marshall over here, who's the fire pup. And here's Chase, the police pup. Alright, let's set this up. One thing I really like about Kinetic Sand is that you can use every part of the set. Even this box becomes something we can play with. For the background, we got Marshall, Pup, and Rubble running in the sand. We also got this little beach town. And inside the box, it's mostly the ocean, but there's a small little corner where we could put Ryder. The pups are coming to him! Before we make the sand pups, let's actually check out the kinetic sand. So here's the yellow one. If you guys have never seen a kinetic sand video before, let me give you some info. Sorry guys, if you already know all this, just bear with me. So this is squeezable sand. It never dries out. Never. 
and if you squeeze it enough, it starts to crumble and the sand almost feels like it's alive, which is pretty cool. Here, let me see if I could try doing it with this red one. So right now it's just in its solid form, which is also a pretty cool thing. If you just mold it together, it'll stay still. But if you have it like this, check it out! It's alive! See, it kind of moves on its own. It sort of looks like sand when you stretch it out, but at the same time, you could treat this like Play-Doh, make some molds with it, and it'll stay still. Let's check out the blue one. Also, cleaning this up is super, super simple. And another thing that I actually haven't done with this is make different colors with it, so I'll be doing that later. But just a heads up, once you make a new color, you can't undo it. Be sure to take a little bit of the kinetic sand so that you can keep some of the original colors. Okay, now it's time to make a sand version of Rubble. Since he's yellow, we will use the yellow kinetic sand. And I'm going into hyperdrive! I'll try to make him as fast as possible. While I do that, let me tell you a little more about Rubble. He's an English bulldog pup. Of course, he loves taking naps and eating. Let's see what he doesn't like. He doesn't like being sprayed by Marshall. He doesn't like spiders, being hungry, or being in deep water. Uh-oh, someone call Zuma. And let's check out Rubble. This is what I was talking about earlier. When you mold it, the sand doesn't crumble or anything. Next up is Marshall. He's red, so we'll use the red kinetic sand. A little more about him, he's a Dalmatian. He likes to have fun with Ryder and all the other Paw Patrol pups. For some reason, he likes to name Joey, and he likes flying kites, but he doesn't like flying really high up. That's where Sky comes in, and he doesn't like crashing and bumping into things. Man, the detail on the mold is pretty insane. You get everything. Next up, it's Chase. We'll give him some blue kinetic sand, and let's see, what can we learn about him? He's a German Shepherd. He likes being loyal to Ryder playing when there's no emergencies, and he doesn't like Marshall being immature. Oh, huh. both of these guys have problems with Marshall. Oh yeah, and he doesn't like things that make him sneeze, but he does like ancient curses and ruins. Hmm, interesting. Woo! Now I was really excited for this part. Let me grab a little bit of the yellow, and a little bit of the blue, because I want to keep Ooh, it's alive! Because I want to keep- sorry! Because I want to keep some of the original colors. Now let's mix it up. And I need your help! Yellow and blue make what? Green! Oh, I like this green color. Now this is pretty cool. Whoa, look at the sand crumble! Okay, this is fun. Let's make some more colors. We got blue. And some red. Let's mix these two colors up. Let's go again, everyone. Red and blue make what? Come on, this is easy. Purple! This set is definitely worth it. It comes with three colors, but we could make a total of six. So let's make one more. We got yellow and some red. Last time! This one should be pretty easy for everyone. Alright, yellow and red make... ORANGE! Ah, I like this orange color. Which new color do you guys like the best? Is it the green, is it the orange, or the purple? Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Uh, some Disney toys here. And today, I'm super excited to bring you Kinetic Sand Surprise Eggs. They kind of look like dinosaur eggs. Let's check out this big egg first. Whoa, a gold egg! I 
I can't wait to see what's inside. Let's crack it open and see. Here's a closer look at the tracker. Every time we knit a new row, we move it up. Today, I'm gonna make a headband. We're gonna need the medium posts, and I'm gonna use the pink yarn. We slip it through the spiral and that'll hold the yarn back. Now to start out, we're gonna make a slip knot. It's basically like tying a regular knot, but you don't pull the yarn all the way through. And when you pull the side of the yarn, it tightens on itself, like this. We're gonna need to cast on seven of these. By the end of this, we're gonna be a pro at making these knots. Now that we've made our seven knots, we take off the first one, and then we're gonna slip the yarn through it, making a new slip knot, like this. So again, we take the slip knot off the right post, put the yarn through, creating a new slip knot, and then we put it on the left post. Always remember to tighten it on the post. We continue this till our right post is empty and everything's on our left post. And now we do the exact same thing. We take the slip knot off the left post, put the yarn through, creating a new one, and then tightening it on the right post. I'm going to do this process 30 times. The longer we do it, the longer the headband will be. So you can kind of adjust it to how big you want it. This tracker is gonna be really helpful. Have you guys ever knitted anything before? If so, let me know in the comments what you made. We're making progress. Phew, look at this progress. I love how it goes from dark pink to light pink. This is gonna be a really cool headband. This headband would be a really cool present for someone and really special too because you made it yourself.
And now that our headband is long enough, it's time to cast off. We do this by casting on two knots onto the left side. We're going to use the same slip knot technique. And now we take the bottom knot and pull it above the top one. And then let go. And then we just continue this process. Slip it on the left one and then move the bottom one up. And let go. Last one. And now we can take everything off. And then we'll use our excess yarn to slip it through that last hole. And now we tighten it. This creates a clean end. Time to sew our headband together. We'll feed the yarn through our needle. And we'll slip the needle through some of the loops. It doesn't matter which loops you go through, as long as you're catching some loops from both sides. This will close up the headband nicely. And don't worry everyone, this needle is made out of plastic, so you don't have to worry about poking yourself. And now that our headband's closed up, we'll wrap the excess yarn around it. And then we'll tie it off. I think I want to add some more color. We'll use some of this blue yarn. And we'll wrap it around here. This will be the front of our headband. We'll cut off the excess yarn and then tie it off. And here's our pink and blue headband. I love how it turned out. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you the crazy Gummy Candy Animals Do-It-Yourself Candy Kit. Here's the front of the package. Let's begin by opening up the package. Here's our first mix. Here's our second mix. And here's a little playmat for our gummy candy. And here's our last mix. We also get one squeezer. And a fork. Here's our tray and the four gummy candies that we'll make. Let's start by pouring in the first mix. We'll make a ram gummy and a cat gummy.
Use the fork to even out the mix. Now let's pour in the second mix. We'll make a squirrel and a panda. We'll also use this mix for the ram horns. Be sure to even out the mix so that you get a perfect gummy animal. You just clump all the sand together and you're finished. One thing I will note is that it doesn't come with a reusable Ziploc bag, so you'll have to get your own. The crazy sand's a little harder to clean up because you do have three colors and you normally don't have a tray to work with. If you don't want to mix up the sand, I'd say play with each color individually. Crazy Sand provides multiple reusable Ziploc bags, so storing the sand is pretty convenient. Alright, which set do you think won? Or is it a tie? I'd love to hear it in the comments! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Kinetic Sand, Sandbox, and Molds. This set is perfect for you if you love going to the beach and playing in the sand, because now you could do it at home. Are you guys ready to mold amazing sand sculpts? Let's open it up! So here are the molds, we get a sea turtle, a fish, a seahorse, and we can even create a sandcastle. And here's our purple kinetic sand. And this is a sandbox we'll be using. Let's test this out. Ooh, this feels just like real sand. This is pretty neat. I don't know if you guys noticed, but while I'm playing with this, my hands also stay very clean, so it's not messy at all. So essentially, you get that wet sand texture that you find at the beach without having to deal with all the sand sticking onto you. Whoa, it looks like this sand has a mind of its own. Once I form it, it just starts to move. This is magical sand. It almost reminds me of a live octopus. Thumbs up if you agree. When you lift the kinetic sand high up in the air, it starts to crumble. But when the kinetic sand is compact, it's easy to shape and mold. Let's test out the molds. Here's our sea turtle. What should we name it? I'll call him Mr. Shells.
And that's Mr. Shell's twin brother. What should we name him? Now let's create this fish. Wow, these molds turn out really great. I'll name the fish Guppy. What do you guys think? And here's our seahorse. What do you guys want to name the seahorse? Now let me reshape the sand to build the sand castle. Look how easy it is to form it, and it stays put too. And here's our three tower sand castle. Let me make a better one. There we go. What do you guys want to name this castle? I feel like I'm really at the beach playing in the sand. Let's see what else we could do with this kinetic sand. It feels like I'm slicing up a loaf of bread. It even feels like bread too. And when you lift it up, gravity will drag it down and it'll start crumbling. Now let's form this kinetic sand into a ball. When the kinetic sand is dense like this, no matter what you do to it, it won't crack. But once you put it up in the air, watch how gravity takes over. Science is pretty cool, huh? And look at the sand just move on its own. Oh, and another really cool thing about this is your kinetic sand never dries out. So you can leave it on the side somewhere and come back to it later and it'll be good as new. And when you're done playing with the kinetic sand, it cleans up really easily so that you don't have a big mess. This was a pretty awesome set. I think I'll be playing with this some more. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here. And today I'm super excited to bring you Knit's Cool Knitting Studio. I've never knitted anything before, so I'm really excited. Alright, let's start by opening the box. Oh, look at how colorful the yarn is!
first, we have our instructions. I'm definitely going to need to keep this close by. Here's a bag of accessories. Our bag of posts. Our colorful yarn. And here's our base. And this is our tracker. Let's take a closer look at this yarn. We have pink, blue, and purple. And in here we have the posts. They come in three different sizes. Here's our small one. What's cool is this base also doubles as storage. Whichever post we're not using, we can just slip it in here. Here's our medium sized post. And our large post. Let's check out this bag. Here's our hook. Our needle. This holds our yarn back. And some accessories. And here's our studio all set up. Here's a closer look at the tracker.